and into the back of the net and then late into the tie there was chances that was the chance for Marco Royce but forget about that now the bracket reset has been formed it's been finalized and we've got to play this game all over again we can confirm though after two legs of FIFA in this one we will have our final and fifth champion here on the Xbox in Europe. Who do you want to win? Let us know in the chat. Peixoto or Optole? Who are you supporting? Because to be fair, Rich, in all honesty, it's been a lot of love for both of these two in tonight's broadcast. There certainly has, and I think as we come into a, a grand final reset, the bracket reset, whatever you want to call it, the four book goes out the window. It's just two legs of FIFA, you win your game, you're the champion. It's as simple as that you don't look into previous matchups, you don't look into previous meetings, you just have to play your best. Bruno Fernandez inside the walks, ball for a bounce back to Bruno, who opens the scoring for Pachotto. Seven minutes is all it's taken for the Andro Pachotto to leave. To say to, to continue where he left off. Why that will frustrate Optoli here, you ask, because he's taken so long and it's been so difficult to break him down. Perfect start. From another player that's in fine form at the moment. It was announced literally. A couple of days ago, him and his teammate and Sneaky. We're battling it out in the Ely Gun. Two teammates, of course, that had land side wave. I think Sneaky's actually sort of doing a reaction stream off the back of this right now. He'll be loving every single minute. I'm sure he'll be, at the same time, being put through a lot of stress in terms of his teammate with the performances that he's put up. He's looking for a second goal now. You talked about players losing, Brandon, and how it affects them. We're going to see her. A pretty good example of what he can do to somebody. Optole, first defeat he's tasted in the entire tournament. And it's come in the grand final. Can he pick himself back up off the mat? Well, we said this, didn't we, in terms of, you know, as a, as a conversational point. You know, you'd rather, as crazy as it sounds, you'd rather lose earlier into a tournament and then go through that loser bracket side, depending on course how early you lose into the tournament the loser bracket could be hell in terms of so many games to play if you lose in the grand final you make a bracket reset happen you're thinking wow I'm, I, you know this guy can beat me chance for name up got to be composed up tonic is exactly that and if not more brilliant in the box from neymar brilliant heavy touch around the man and a guaranteed goal we said about him being unsettled maybe that first loss testing him well, there you go, look no further, back in the time. The ball out wide to Marco Royce. He had acres of room as Neymar burst past that last man. All he did was just slide it into his path. Takes the touch around the goalkeeper and smashed it in to the back of the net. What a response. An early response as well, Rich. I think that's a big part in that. And when it goes on 50, 60 in game minutes and you're, you know, you're still struggling to break down your opponent, they're trying to take every second out of the game. Yes, you've got a second leg to fall back on, but I think the way you play against someone like Leandro Pachota, you've got to be in the lead. You've got to make him be unsettled and to come out. And that's what happened when they played each other earlier. I think for Leandro, when he's in a, you know, he kicks off in a winning position. And actually, that's going to fall into his own place, though. Is Ronaldo? He's CR7. Elastico in the box. Back to CR7. Stings the hands of Dawn. Edison. Just about keeps the ball on. CR7 still. Ball roll. Scooped up. Pass it to his fellow Portuguese countryman in Renato Sanchez. So offside trap there. Squeezing the players up. Forcing him all the way back. Building again. Sanchez into Neymar this time. Elastico. Elastico again through the legs. He's so good at that in those sort of areas. Yeah, chaining 
Well, no idea, to be honest, Rich, how he's, how he's getting them through the legs of the defenders. Yeah, he, he's training, isn't he? He's training the reverse elastico to the normal elastico or vice versa. A little bit of luck, but a lot of skill as well involved in the final third in those specific skill moves. Someone to defend on the flip side of that four. To show to how do you defend it? Just no way, really, is it? You dive into the tackle, you make a mistake, next thing you know. Giving the penalty away. It's a playful here in this one. 1-1. One, one. Shanta wins it back. Chance for him to move forward now. Again, if you have just come by, this is the grand final. Here in Europe, so much to play for. Fifteen thousand dollars on the line. The last title. From qualifier number five. It'll be all eyes on those playoffs. Last chance of the first forty-five in this one. Sanchez into Mbappe. Interchange as well. Back to Mbappe again. Mbappe, Ooh. Neymar linking up. It's so quick. It's so fast. I think too fast for Optole. That's what he needs to do, though, to break down that sort of that wall that that brick in front of him you've got to go fast you've got to go aggressive almost in the final third one touch passing so Peixoto can't play a switch in time so he can't read where the ball is going to go half time here in leg number one one apiece between the two best players in this qualifier Deal well, that was from oh my days, Neuer. A couple of them tonight with the ball's just been literally. He's pushed into his leg. He's had nothing that he can really do about it for a split second there. I thought he was going to get done. Is Marco Rice just offside again? A little bit too quick off the mark, but I think he showed exactly why. He's in this team tonight for Optolo Richard. The full birthday marker, Royce. He probably should have scored in that last game we saw. Injects pace into the final third. Offers you a presence going forward within the current squad restrictions that you can use. So halfway build it. I was just going to say that, Brandon. Just jump in. So patient in the final third. There's no rush. He knows where he wants to go. It's almost methodical. And Neymar, once again, is the hero for the Frenchman. It's another goal. He found the space. There was no chance and any time, in all honesty, for Renato Sanchez or Kevin Mbappé to go over there and to defend. The informed Neymar strikes again for Leandro Peixoto. And he'll lead by two goals to one, which will mean that Optoli will have to come and chase the game again. Optoli played an offside trap. All these players went forward, and then as sort of the the players retook their position out of the back off the offside trap, and Babu just didn't come forward. Chance he had to get an instant reply. Marco Royce, great tackle inside the box. And then Babu was the player to play Neymar onside. Wasn't then quick enough to get to him and narrow down the angle. Great finish from Neymar, regardless. That's the chance that we, we were speaking to about Optole there. He has to get into a winning position and make for sure to come and chase the game. At the moment, every single time that ball goes in his favour and he keeps the lead, you're seeing this now where there's no rush. Puts Optole into an awkward position. He has to try and come forward and play. Very aggressive FIFA. What a Royce pass. now. Brilliant ball into Neymar. No. Just dragged it wide there. Neymar. 
Great chance from Optole. Used his overlapping run really well. Michael Royce straight in the room for Neymar to go into. First time strike and quite an ugly strike to be honest. About four yards wide. It's the worst nightmare for a FIFA player with no chances. I think you just go wide. I think it was in his right to shoot first time. It was just an awful strike. Into the box again. It will go to CR7. Gleiber. <laughs> the answer off the bench. Can they beat? The all important changes. To inject some pace, to inject some sort of comeback. Yes, there's a second leg to play still. Every time that Peixoto's in the lead, we've seen how good he is. To be honest, in terms of just French FIFA players, I mean, they've always been so, so good on the ball. Possession-wise, they've always been fantastic as well. Of course, not every Chaps. player is like that, and... Every player has their own play style, but there's been so many, I'm just talking in past times here, so many good possession-based French players that we've seen. Now, whether that be a Dax and, uh, from, from previous times, and still to this day. Haven't seen him so much on the global stage, and then we signed for a new esports organisation, hoping that in the E-League 1 he'll be able to make some noise with Bordeaux, I think he signed for this year. So many good players, I mean, from all over the world. He'll be playing in the E-League 1. Both the Peixota brothers will be, in fact. Chance Mbappé turns back to goal. Heel to heel again. Defensively sound. Varane, right place, right time. You've got to be sure in those moments. Just as he pulled off that heel to heel there, it looked like he was just about to go through his man. Offside track played again there from Optoli. He's just not necessarily pressing, but he's playing the offside track to not allow those through balls in behind. Ronaldo, directional nutmeg, can't find his way around the map. Very nearly, wasn't it? Directional nutmeg into the into the player. Sometimes she even free, free kicks penalties gave Brandon when it was a collision inside the box. A little bit scrappy this last three, four minutes. It's a ball roll from Hullet there. Seven minutes away from the end of leg one. We're we'll into the final matchup in our Xbox Grand Final here in Europe. The show so An incredible story so far that he has been able to develop. Certainly, you'd say, Rich, not having his brother in his room has, uh, has helped too. I'm sure he's, he's a fan of his support and the help that Diogo's given him, but. Not. Ever since he's not been in the room, he's been winning games. And look. I wasn't actually commentating the game where we saw it in the first uh, matchup between these two. But the thing that I thought was, if I'm playing FIFA and I can feel two people stood over my shoulder, it, it, it just feels a little bit intimidating. Like, you see Optole's coach here sat off to the side. Whereas if I know I've got someone stood behind me, I'm not, I'm not liking that. That might be the last chance of the game. We'll talk about that a bit more in between the two hit. Chance. The legs. Neymar. Chance. Oh, Neymar. Talk about being clutch. Talk about being clinical. Right in his wrongs for that awful miss earlier on. Last kick of the game. Such a special tournament, the e Champions League. No, it certainly is. I can't wait to see the e Champions League get back underway. But we've got business two final lines here Brandon is getting late on here in Europe actually championship Sunday for these two players in uh, Central Europe right now who's going to be victorious that's the question that we're going to find out yeah, well, for the final time your voices be heard in the chat who do you want to win this game Optole or Peixoto 
Only one of them can lift the trophy in qualifying number five. Take the $15,000. 2 2 the scoreline. Don't forget they played. This will be the third time they played. Chance versus Elastico. Oh, Tolle. So good in those areas. So skillful. But more importantly, just so unpredictable. And what a goal it was. I didn't think it was going anywhere for a second. It was out wide with Kleber. And then as soon as he gets in around the box, that's where he bursts into life. Neymar into Mbappe. One reverse elastico later. And Optole back in front. You cannot count this man out. Honestly, this would be the cherry on top of the perfect sort of three-tier cake. For Optole. This is even before a ball's being kicked in the playoffs for him. If he was to win today. And this incredible start to the season, the Aus Fenskum of Gothenburg. Him and his teammate in Zimmer. Four out of four unbeaten so far with a brilliant time. Top of the pile. National pride as well. Charles, surely not through the lanes off the line, and Babu. He nearly put it in his own net. Heroic defending. Getting back on the line, hooking it away under his own crossbar. Kevin Mbabu. Optole's players fighting for the badge right now. And again, it's the first time he's been in the lead across the two legs. Chance to make it a two goal lead. Ooh. Ronaldo, what on earth was that? Was that a shin pad shot? I've never seen that before. It was an awful touch and it nearly caught the goalkeeper out. I mean, I don't know what on earth that strike was, but he got a corner from it somehow, but it could have been a goal, to be honest, if he gets a good contact on that. saying though is that it's the first time that in this leg or so in this game he's been in the lead he's been chasing from 1-0 from 2-1 down as Optole if he can find another one he will put him in cruise control what's a save from Edison parried away parried just about out of danger if he can find another goal Rich Peixota has to come out and play no he certainly does in this sort of block defensively in the possession based play that has been so successful for him simply has to be abandoned only trying to buy one goal you can sort of still play the same way and just play for the chances you will get a couple of chances for your way clear cut chances however if we see him trailing by two goals well the tactics book might have to get ripped up Those through balls, those really late searching through balls. Out of the game, gone him. Tolle in the lead, start the better with the two as well, offensively. It's very dangerous going forward. Nick and Leandro have to think and have to defend superbly well. Bappe, Neymar interchanging, CR7 also in the mix of players there. Kulazewski on the far-hand side. Fellow sweet, hoping that he can. Giving a uh, taste of his own medicine right now, Brandon, isn't he? Holding the ball, not letting him even get a touch. He's had possession for probably, what, six, seven minutes right now? Literally. You know, we'll take that crown after what's been a pretty much German dominance, in all honesty, this year in the Xbox side of things, especially Richard. What, four qualifiers before this, all German winners? Not a German to be seen in the top six tonight. It was Nicholas Razek that came the closest. He was one game away from the broadcast. Wait for those players when we'll see the likes of Sackle that 
has been so consistent at getting top eight, sort of top 16 finishes, but just one or two wins away from a broadcast. He's not been the only one. There's been so many players to talk about. Those playoffs, when they do come round, 64 players will go to battle over three days. And what three days those will be in July. Uh, no, absolutely. And a lot of those players, Brandon, especially in Europe, are players that we might not have even seen on broadcast that have been finishing 20th. 22nd, 24th in these qualifiers, just building up the points. Right, I cannot wait to see it. Text, perfect example of it. He'll be in those playoffs and he'll be coming for top spot. A lot of people are looking to prove a lot of doubters wrong in the playoffs. Make sure you do not miss that in July, the European playoffs. That will do us for the half time in this second game. Optole in the lead and something just feels a little bit different now. Maybe he believes that he could be on his way to his first ever major title. I mean, both of the it'll be the first ever major title for, for either of these two who does win this game. Optole is just in the lead by three goals to two. If you have just tuned in, I mean, these two have played three times tonight. They played in the winner's matchup earlier tonight where Optole did win. Then they played again in the grand final. A bracket reset was formed from... Leandro Pacheto, but at that point, we had question marks on Optole. Was it too much to ask? Was he going to be unsettled after losing his first ever game in the broadcast? The one thing we did say, he had to go in front, and it was up to him to try and control things, Richard. And now he's in that position. I'm interested to see now how Leandro will look to sort of come back off this. Will he be more offensive? Will he be dominant in the final third? That's Furlong Mendy all the way from fullback. Speak about being offensive. That's exactly what he's being. Building. Big, That's big out. chance. Back to Bruno Fernandes, who scored a big goal for him in the earlier game. He'll, he'll see our seven. Oh, just over. Yeah, nearly knocking that support beam that holds the netting up out of the ground. So much power on that strike from Ronaldo. Another chance goes begging, though. He's getting that sort of on target there. The heel two was great. Into Marco Royce. Can he be the hero? Scoop turns well. It's silky. Just didn't have enough on it though to get past foul on Mendy to outsmart. The French fullback. Saw that player lock there. He ran all the way offside with Neymar, I think it was. Just to then play lock back onto Renato Sanchez. Bring the ball forward. Has been dispossessed though and Let's see what Optole does here, because this will give us a good indication on where this game will go. Is he going forward or...? No, you just see. More than happy to keep hold of the ball. More than happy to play the possession game. As you just see him put a pause in there as well. With a third remaining. That is it. A third left of European qualifier number five. Of the qualifiers in Europe, full stop. Let's say, are we going to see this now on the flip side? This was something that we saw at times from Leandro in terms of just slowing down the game, taking this thing out of the tight. Got to be careful how defensive you are because more white shirts will get forward. There'll be a lot more pressing of the ball. So, okay, keeping the ball, but then if you do something like that, then you give your opponent back possession and a chance. We're going to the pause menus now for both of these two. It was Optole that did force the pause. It's about 28 minutes or so left in the tie, Rich. Maybe a chance to bring on a couple of fresh legs, but I can imagine for Leandro, it's going to be a lot of players getting forward to just to try and chase back a goal. Yeah, it certainly will be. And it, right now, you're just playing the clock as well. When you consider how, how long did he roughly hold the ball then? You would say probably 56 to 63. A little bit of quick math. That's seven minutes of the game gone not coming back if you can do that three times that's 20 minutes disappeared from the clock altogether three different spells of keeping possession holding ball that gives your opponent about six or seven minutes to get into a final third position to score a goal so not only are you playing the time remaining in the game you're playing the management of where you want to lose the ball as well you're happy to lose the ball in the attacking third 
because there's so much of the pitch left for your opponent to try and conquer to get that goal. So it, it does become a chess match. Well, well, well. Back on the ball, Neymar, back on it. Twisted and turning, trying to cause absolute havoc in the box. Offside trap played there to try and rush decisions, to try and rush passes. Doesn't fall into the trap though, does. Peixota back to goal, CR7! And we'll go again! What a goal. Simply, what a goal from Peixota. All the pressure on him. Played the ball into his star man. Cristiano Ronaldo. Goal for the he, he went to... Cristiano Ronaldo. It was beautiful, just left stick dribbling. A little cancelling there as well. Well, I've just seen that goal back. Creative genius in the final third from Peixoto. The chat just fills up with so much love for it. So we've got nearly every single French I will have French a French pro. champion on the books. Yeah. <laughs> in the chat right now. I'm sure for them as well, it's refreshing to see another name come forward. So good that he got the opportunity to represent France, the effort the France team that's been mixed up again this year. Those were just a couple of names to mention, like some Mentz, Cursor, all involved, hoping that they can go to the FIFA Nations Cup. I'm sure, if he was to get a win here, that's absolutely every right that he'll be saying that I should be on the way to Copenhagen of course that event handling really late into the year final 15 remember extra time could be on the cars it feels like this could really go to extra time it's been so nip and tuck between these two in all the games they've played how are we going to get that one final chance that player lock into CR7 to CR7 again it needs Kevin Mbappé there just to get a knee in front of the ball very direct very good pass into Ronaldo's feet could be a chance to seal the deal to find that final goal that could be a match winner the offside trap being spammed player locks coming in here there and everywhere so hard to defend just send you sort of do Lally defensively you don't know what to do you don't know who to track Sanchez still. Can he find the run of Bruno Fernandes? No, he can't. It's Mbappe that gets round this man. Chance to break. Last six minutes. Will there be a winner? Deciding to play smart right now. He's not rushing forward. Doesn't want to get caught in transition with the ball. And players sort of just everywhere. Out of position. And, and, and not in a good opportunity to try and get that winning goal. He is now though as he comes forward with a towel. And this final chance will fall to the Swede. Two minutes left. Oh, will there be a match on. winner? Oh, Mbappe just couldn't carve his run that he was looking for. Looks like he might need extra time here. A minute probably to be added on. Maybe two if we're lucky. And it will be one minute. Last chance to loon it. Leandro. If he was to snatch this late on, this would be remarkable here in Europe. CR7 in a running race. Twisting, turning, back to CR7, it will go again. Atal, back to CR7. Which way will he go? No. Dancing around the box, can't find the pass past Kevin Mbappé. And we will need 30 more minutes to find out our final champion here in Europe. I mean, this is the game that's given us everything rich. A bracket reset, penalties. Oh, no, it's not penalties yet, Jesus. Extra time, maybe penalties in the future. Still to play for. We have no idea where this game's going. Both of these two look absolutely exhausted. Coming into a final 30 minutes of FIFA. Is it going to be Sweden? Is it going to be France? Up telly up a shoto. What a... Honestly, I feel like I've said this sentence all day long, but what a game. This has been by far the best qualifier on Xbox in the European region. 
Maybe they've saved the best to last in terms of the performances we've seen. In terms of a final. Certainly has been up there. Tolle kicking from left to right in the yellow strip of Gothenburg. The Swede who got a top three finish back in January. This time out he's got a top four, maybe a top one. Neymar, oh my days, Reese James. That block there, you had no idea about it, but you may have just got yourself in to the history books as a hero with that interception. Oh, I cannot believe he's managed to get back on the line there and block that. Rhys James, I mean, right place, right time. Neymar. Neymar with the skill move for Optola. Everything was perfect. Everything. Just couldn't find the finish. Chance to run forward now. The Atta. Bags of pace. Off the bench as well, Rhys. Late on. Neymar. He's. Uh, Rhys James, the problem. Very, very dangerous is that the Atta. You can get a run on you, you don't want him bearing down on you. Just come back from off that position. Oh, I just feel like penalties are looming. Well, there's two minutes left of just this first half of extra time. Will we need penalties? 15 more minutes to the side. Will there be any more goals? A chance. That's 13 game seconds off the first half of extra time. Can you see that pace from Deata maybe? Bappe was raring at goal, and that will do us for the first 15 minutes here. 15 minutes away from a penalty shootout to decide a winner in the final qualifier of the year. That honestly could be the situation, Richard, if there was not to be a goal in the next 15. What a way to finish. What a way to finish the qualifiers in Europe. And look, we'll be honest. Two names that you wouldn't have predicted here. Given the stars that are in Europe. Two names that we're more than thrilled to welcome in to said stardom here in Europe. And these will be <laughs> two players, especially Optole and Peixoto, in those playoffs that will have circles around their names and targets on their back. Even more so for the player that can win tonight's bracket. To win tonight's qualifier. Chance for Shoto. Neymar. Back to Neymar. Neuer. With a huge hand. The bounce back was fortunate. And the save was justified, you'd say. He's in. It's a long ball forward down the other end. It's a counter-attack situation. Deata. Back to Neymar. Up to now. Yusuf Atau Elastico. Turns back inside. Brilliant feet in the box. And Varane is there to say no thank you. I'm running out of superlatives to describe some of these last-ditch defensive blocks, last-ditch defensive tackles. I feel like the only way to separate these two is penalties. That might be the fairest way. It's the unfairest lottery that is available in football and FIFA. We might not need it though, Rich. We might not need it yet. 15 minutes was up. Five minutes left on the clock. Will there be a winner? Or will we need extra time? Or well, should we say extra time in terms of penalties as well? Three minutes is all that's left. Playing for the last chance of the game. Here's the grand joke. Pacheto. All the French. And the champion this year on FIFA 21 in a major. Back post. He wanted to play short instead. He's playing on his day at up. Can he inject some pace into the final third? Added time to follow. Now, I think we are going to a penalty shootout in all honesty. A $15,000 penalty shootout we must add. Not yet. Not yet. Or is there 
Oh. Ice in the veins. That's it. Of Peixoto. Penalties on the card. Strap yourselves in. Up steps up Tolo first. Davies up first. Scores. Beautiful dink down the middle. So it'll be Alfonso Davies of Peixoto. Stepping up to the spot. Saved. Advantage to the Swede. Could it be two from two? Dayata steps up. Scores. Great penalty. Dayata now for Peixoto. From 12 yards, does score, 2-1. Can it be 3 out of 3, Richard? For Optole, up steps, Yusuf Atau, he puts it away. Easy as you like. Pressure, penalty from Alessandrini. Scores. To put him so close, Richard, so close to a winning position. And Bapa, it's perfect pens. And who else but Neymar from the spot for Peixoto. Must score to keep this tournament alive and does score. It's as simple as this. 16 years of age, the Swede, you score, you'll be a champion, no! Still has a chance to save his tournament. If he scores this penalty, and he does score, sudden death. Sudden death on the cards. Timed it green as well, did for show to upsteps Neymar. For the Swede, will miss again. This is a chance to take it up. Peixoto with CR7, the match winning moment, can he step up, can he score, yes he can, and France finally have their champion on the Xbox, qualifier number 5 will go to a new Frenchman in town, Leandro Peixoto of Atlanta Wild will walk away I'm sure to go and find his brother in his house to say we've just done it, we've just won a championship in our back pocket.